If you've been paying attention to the news of the Spacemans recently, you may have heard of the 3D project. This was my project. Let me talk about the process of making it, because this was like trying to revive a zombie from the dead. Now the way this works is that this uses the Beyond Web Client Protocol. Now, doing this has one very major advantage. It's a lot easier to reverse engineer because with the web client protocol, the web client is a JavaScript file. That's a lot easier to reverse engineer than C++ code. However, there is one really, really big problem here. Now, if we boot up the web client, which by the way, is not an easy task. Now. Beyond will let you enable the web client, but actually connecting to it? You have to deal with broken Cloudflare bullshit. You also have to worry about the fact that the Beyond client in its current state only supports insecure HTTP connections, and the Beyond website only supports HTTPS now because Chrome will force you to use it. You know what happens when you try to put an insecure frame inside of a secure page? It doesn't work. Chrome is like, no. That's a bad idea. Stop. And it's right. Except there's one problem. We're dealing with Beyond. Beyond does stupid things. And I just want this to work. God damn it. Now after all that, what do we get? Objects disappearing. Most of them don't show up. What is going on here? How is it this broken? Now here's, here's how sending movable objects works. First, we have one byte that specifies some flags. Then we have four bytes for the object ID. And then we have a, all of the things that changed about the object. Now, when viscontents was added, that got tacked on to the end as well. But now we need another flag. And uh-oh, all eight bits are used. So we're going to need to extend that to 16 bits. So let's do that. No, 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 you can't do that. You just overwrote the least significant byte of the object ID. Now it doesn't work. What are you doing? So you just started working on adding viz content support to the web client, but you never finished, released the unfinished product, and now the whole thing hasn't worked properly since, wait, when was viz contents added anyways? Beyond 5.12. Beyond version 5.12, when was that released? Yeah, it's been broken since September of 2017. It's been broken for over five years. And this whole time, the web client has been this broken, unfinished thing that has just existed. How does this work at all if it hasn't been touched in that long? Want more bugs? If you have a turf within viz contents list, when it sends the objects that are on that turf, it sends the object ID of the turf. And then the next tick, it goes, hey, I haven't sent that object yet because it used the wrong object ID. So it sends it again and again and again. It just shoves the objects down the pipe every tick, causing it to be broken. This caused security cameras to break things horribly. Not to mention it's not very efficient to resend the same objects every tick. So yeah, in order to make my thing work, first I had to go in and patch bugs like this within Beyond itself, using some poorly written Rust code that'll make any Rust station cringe horribly. And it's bad enough that I have to hunt down these bugs, why do I have to fire up Gidra just to do it? This should be open source. But, I digress. You know, when I started this project, I thought my biggest problem would be trying to figure out how this protocol works. Or maybe, you know, how do I take a 2D game and render it in 3D? Not trying to examine the compiled code of Beyond to try to hunt down bugs in a neglected feature that has- You know, here's another fun bug I had to deal with. In the web client protocol, parsing of DMI files happens server-side. Now, this is fine. Great, actually. That's one less thing I have to write. Yay, finally beyond doing something smart. Wait a second, what does this mean? Maximum number of unique web client images exceeded? Great, now the game is frozen. 
So yeah, it turns out that the server-side DMI parsing breaks the game if you load more than 65,535 icon state frames. That's right. Not icon files, not icon states, icon state frames. My solution was to just disable the server-side DMI parsing and do it on the client. More work for me, but at least it doesn't crash anymore. Hey, wait a second, I've spent all this time talking about Beyond Bugs and I haven't even touched on the challenges of making a 20 year old 2D game work in 3 dimensions. But I just want to do really cool shit, but Beyond is a broken mess, but what else can I?